is Messi. It is the cleanest of clean finishes from the best on the planet. It's time for the biggest sports stories. Liverpool, the champions of Europe, on top of the world. The biggest interviews. That uh, such a great spectacle is ruined by such such thuggish behaviour. And all the analysis right here. He's the one player that has the arrogance to think that he can play in any stadium in the world and any pitch in the world in front of any player in the world and take them on. Every weekday, it's my sport, it's your sport. It's CFM Sport. Let's join the team for the biggest show in the world of sport on CFM Stereo. My station, your station. It's a very good evening, Zimbabwe, on a Tuesday evening. Top it Tuesday here on ZFM Sports, on your favourite station, ZFM Stereo, my station, your station. What can you look forward to on the show? Well, today we are talking the Glamour Boys, Dynamo's Football Club. Now, they have signalled their intent and embarked on an overhaul by signing 15 players in this pre-season so far, including Soccer Star of the Year finalist King Nadolo, who says he is looking forward to a fruitful career at his childhood team. That and so much more to look forward to and to talk you through it in the studio are Mark Pozzo, Alois Bunjira, me, Barry Manandi, and of course our producer is Sean Tafirenika. We have our weekly air staple, the Formula One report, proudly brought to you by Zimoka, where Mercedes say there is a risk of one of the top teams ending up half a second off the pace in 2021 if they switch over development resources too late this year. And in Around the World in 60, Australian batsman David Warner says his experiences in England will help him deal with any situation when he, when he returns to South Africa for the first time since the ball tampering scandal. In New Zealand, Springbok wing Sibu Nkosi has returned home from the Sharks Australia, Australasian tour due to injury and LeBron James is considering a return to the Olympics after he was named amongst 44 players including Stephen Steph Curry in a provisional American squad. We'll dive into the beautiful game and uh, we start in England, the Premier League to be specific, where Unai Emery blasted the attitude of Arsenal stars during his time with the Gunners in Serie A, Juventus are reportedly preparing to pull off the most audacious of managerial coups by persuading Pep Guardiola to leave Manchester City and in La Liga, Zinedine Zidane has again reiterated there is no problem between himself and Gareth Bale and in the Bundesliga Emre Chan has insisted his new team, Borussia Dortmund, need to adopt a dirty side to their game if they want to fix their leaky defence. All of that and so much more to look forward to in this edition of ZFM Sport. It's Top Hit Tuesday. Don't forget, later on, our Polenta Nutri-Active Instant Porridge Sports Trivia. Going to be a good one. The Home Front. Local sports news and analysis. From Rufaro to Barberfield, Mandava to Nyamunga, all the perfect moments in the Castle Lager Premier Soccer League come together on ZFM Sport. Our number in the studio, 0731168045. That's 0731168045. Get in touch with us and don't forget to send in your hashtags, uh, hashtag NutriActive, and you could be the lucky caller we call back today. Well, I read a bizarre headline over the weekend that said Caps United is looking to sign 40 new players. That. And I was stunned, but not to be outdone, Dynamos have said... At least 14 players are believed to have left Dynamos ahead of the new season. The Glamour Boys are rebuilding the squad and they have signed 15 players so far this preseason after a disappointing campaign last season where they finished in ninth position and without a major trophy. Coach Tundarai Stanzandiraya has now moved to overhaul his squad and recently Dynamos signed Soccer Star of the Year finalist King Nadolo who says he is looking forward to a fruitful career at his childhood team Dynamos. We caught up with Dynamo spokesperson Tinashe Farao, who spoke to us about Dynamos' transfer business so far. Let's have a listen. Uh, we, 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 what we are doing, our strategy as the executive was to ensure that we bring stability to the club. Something which we have done uh, during the 2019 uh, season. We managed to bring stability to the club. There was no noise. We were pulling in, this, in, in one direction. We were clear on what we wanted to achieve and what we wanted to do. Our main aim was to stay the ship and we managed to do that. I think uh, we managed to stay that ship in 2019. Going forward, I think in the last quarter of uh, 2019, 
We then discussed with our coach uh, what he wanted to do with the club. He gave us the wish list, uh, the players that he wanted to work with during the 2020 season. So by October or thereabout, or by the end of the season, we knew exactly what the coach wanted and we were going by that list of what the coach had indicated to us that for the team to move forward, these are the players we see things were going to make an impact at Dynamo. We have done that. I think um, that's why you saw we were, we were busy on the transfer market, going by what the coach has said. We have said to the coach, yes, the team, and uh, I'm sure he's happy with the acquisition. And uh, we are happy also as an executive that we have money to, 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 to sign almost everyone who the coach wanted for the 2020 season. What we are doing as a club is to ensure that we take the animals to another level. This team is a rich history, which we are not going to squander. We are going to make sure that we don't only participate in Zimbabwe, but we also participate in Africa. And I'm sure that's where we belong. This is going to give value, not only to this country or to our millions of supporters, but it's also going to give value to our sponsors who have been who have stood by us during the very difficult uh, times. See. Some brave fighting talk by, there by Dynamo spokesperson Tinashe Farao, who says that the team deserves to be in Africa, and that's what they're looking at. They've done a complete, almost a complete clear out. 14 players on the way out, and so far, 15 in. Bunj, you've played at the highest level, you've seen different clubs, different lands, different places. How does this grab you? Uh, the talk. The talk is good, you know. Uh, the talk, there's some um, fighting talk in there. And the there's action. an ambition uh, talk in there, but the action is also not correct. Mm. You know how how to go about getting back into Africa. Uh, I don't think that's the correct the correct way to do. You know, uh, I I I picked up Pansy. Uh, we asked the coach what he wanted, what he wanted to do for the yeah. season 2020. Look, that's that's all wrong as it is. It's already wrong. That they are just looking at 2020. In yeah. January 2020, yeah. they're looking at what they need to do in January 2020. This is in 2020. They, 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 they are now looking lot, at what they lot. want to do in, ja- in January. In January. They are looking at what they want to do in 2020. <laughs> it's too late. In January 2020. It's too you late. You get what I mean? And they want to go in Africa. It's like you, it, you don't get crashed into Africa that way. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's a big thing. We have got, we know that Damos is a, has got a very big history. We, we, we acknowledge that. But they need as an executive, I'm sure Tinashe is listening, mm-hmm. um, they need to go back and start doing things properly in football. Build the correct structures for football and have a, a target that may in four or five years time we want to be competing against Esperance in Africa. In Africa we yeah. want to be competing against such in Africa in four years' time after we have done A, B, C. Not by bringing in 14, 15 players mm. and they give pressure to the coach that we want to go back into Africa. Which players? <laughs> who? How? And all that. And by the way, ZPC, Kariba, they've also done done the same. The same 17 yeah. players. Yeah. Caps United have done the same. Yeah. 15 players. Yeah. FC Platinum have done the same. 9 players. Guess the Platinum, they've all done it. They've <laughs> Team. So, who, 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 it's more about who accumulated more. The most or who, players, I don't yeah. know. Is it going to work that way? I don't know. So I think that the club that you will start doing proper things is the club that is going to move a shift. You know what that club is? Yeah. For me, if I look closely at these clubs, chicken in. Chicken in. Chicken in is the one that you think is the one to watch. They, we, they've done the business of football properly we are likely to have time to talk about chicken in before the season begins but today we're of course talking about dynamo's football club pause we heard tondera and uh, towards the back end of last season when the results weren't coming talking about the fact that he didn't have the right material so i think we should have seen this coming that he was going to do a clear out and then sign new players but 15 signed in seems like a hell of a lot <laughs> Yeah, it's when you talk about a clean out, that's a, that, that that's a massive clean out. Yeah. But what is interesting that uh, he seems to have signed players for almost all the positions. Yeah, um, they've roped in uh, uh, parts and jewelry, the ex ZPC uh, Kariba duo of Tino Tender, Chuani, and uh, Sylvester Apaya. Mm-hmm. So, look, I think when when you say you you revamping your whole team, yes, I I think it's as Boon says, it's a little bit excessive. Yeah, um, but uh, at least. He's showing that he's 
moved for all all, all positions, all positions because that's that's something that would worry me that suddenly you would have uh, eight defenders and three midfielders uh, and uh, the, the main thing in Zimbabwe football and I say this time and time out is that uh, not one of our teams have an out and out uh, goal scorer that can score 20 goals in a Premier League season yeah it doesn't, huh? doesn't look that way I would have loved to hear that the coach said with these players these are going to form the core of my team Going forward, going forward with these yeah. players, yeah, yeah. let's see what we can do in 2020. In 2021, let's sign all these players on a three-year, four-year contract. We keep them. I want to believe that the coach signed the players that he can see that they have got the future of Dynamos in hand. Yeah. So that we can go through a, 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 a rebuilding phase in 2020, give this, this core of the players, then we can start looking at winning the league next season and all that. But this thing, 15 players, all new players, yeah. different positions, and then we say we want to win. Because let, let's go honest. When you want to win the league next season, you start looking for the for the positions that you want. You look at a player, you go for the player that you want, and you don't wait for a player that is a free agent. Yeah. You're waiting for a player that says, I want to come to you. Then you say we are building a team, and you're building a team of players that were free. <laughs> no. Well, you don't, you don't well, 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 there's a question that's just come through and it says that how much do PSL clubs spend on the transfer market? And you've just answered that. Zero. In the sense that all these signings have come on a free because play, uh, teams in Zimbabwe classically wait for players who to, to run out their contracts and then they sign them on a free. And, okay, just to bring everybody up to speed as to what is going on at the Rare Giants, the Glamour Boys, you've got... Godfrey Mukambi Maraba, uh, who was the vice captain of the team, he has left. They have said that it's uh, it's disciplinary, disciplinary issues because he apparently went down to South Africa and played in a in a social game, um, having lied to the coach. And the coach said, uh, "You can't play at Dynamos anymore." We understand he's. Uh, training with Harare City. We're not sure whether he will get signed. Of course, there's the retirement of Edward Duduza uh, Sadomba. He's gone for this season. Other players who haven't uh, turned up for pre-season training, Claude Ngahan, of course, who's Cameroonian. Robert Saki, who's the Ghanaian who was playing for Dynamo's last season. And then the following players have been released by Dynamo. Simba Nivi, Archford Gutu, Tawanda Macheke, Walter Yaya Sande. Edgar Mungu, Philip Kaseke, goalkeeper Steven Chimsoro and Simba Mupama Wonde, uh, as well as Viali Tadzoka. Uh, Evans Katema, of course, went down to Zambia. Nigel Katawa and Simba Chinani are in Russia on trial. So those are all the players that have gone out. If we read that list, most of those players were in the starting lineup of Dynamo's last season, meaning that when Dynamo's runs out, this coming season, we are likely to see a Dynamo's lineup that we haven't seen before, possibly with one or two players who played last season. What are the chances of continuity in that in that light? Yeah, it's completely it's a completely new team, uh, like you say, Barry. That's why I was saying uh, these are these are new players that are coming in together. So for them to say we want to go into Africa, the coach said what he wanted for 2020 season. I see already that they, they there is no plan for the future. They 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 they, they, they just want to think this is Dynamo. We want to be at the top of the league. So let's get the players. You want this one, this one, this one. Okay, bring him in, and then they think that you just go going to win just like that. Right. Football doesn't work like that. <laughs> You gotta do the proper thing. Not the one team that is going to win this league next season is it is it's by, by chance. By chance, the team that acc- accumulated maybe the better, the, the better players <laughs> and all that. It, it, it's it's hard to find. It's, it's hard to figure it out. Yeah, it's hard to figure it out. But you gotta say to yourself that FC Platinum will be there in the final shakeup. Who knows? Dynamos might just sneak it, given that they've recruited wisely. However, there's been a lot of defenders that have gone in there. You look at Patson Jaure, Steve uh, Sylvester up here, as um, uh, Bo- um, uh, Paz was talking about. Byron Mazzucchiere is there. And then, of course, they've still got uh, Tawanda Chisi, who remained at the club. And uh, all those centre halves are still at Dynamos. It'll be interesting to see how they line up under Tundirai Stanza Ndiraya. The, probably the most exciting signing being that of King Nadolo. King Nadolo, of course, can deliver goals. He scored, I think it was in the end, 11 goals, uh, having arrived at the mid-season window for Tel 1, and he scored 11 goals. That is a proper signing that is exciting. 30 seconds flat. Yeah, but the most the most exciting for me, uh, the signing there, is, uh, is uh, Chidoba. You mm. know, the, 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 the youngster Chichidoba is... Tanaka Chidoba. Tanaka Chidoba is exciting. I saw him growing up at Prince Edward. Right. He is a brilliant player and I think that they made a very good move. FC Platinum got him. 
And I don't understand this Zimbabwean football. They actually released him on a free. Okay, how do you, how do you release a 19 year old on a free? On a free? That doesn't make prospect. sense. Yeah. Anyway, that's Dynamos. Dynamos uh, having uh, accumulated 15 players, let 14 go. They're getting ready for the season 2020. How it all plays out. Stay tuned to ZFM Sport. How is it, guys? Elvis, Nicola, Pomba, Moyo, WPF. This is the bomb. All Africa Heavyweight we'll Champion two time. Uh, you are listening to ZFM Sport. Moving on with the rest of our local sports news roundup, we'll start with boxing. Ukrainian-born heavyweight boxer Alexandra Zokoseki has challenged South African-based Zimbabwe heavyweight boxer Elvis Moyo to a non-title fight to be held in Germany on the 28th of March. The organisers of the bill have asked Moyo to submit his medical report to facilitate his visa application. Visa restrictions prevented Moyo from fighting in Germany and Russia last year after receiving short-notice invites to fight in Europe. To rugby and uh, the Zimbabwe National Seven rugby team the cheetahs got a boost ahead of the inaugural world uh, rugby challenger series uh, first leg after they trained at the famed south african high performance center the zimbabwe sevens team is made up mostly of home-based players and they trained in south africa before they left for chile last night old herarians legend rocky guramani who is currently based in south africa helped them with their training session to handball and the african handball confederation director of sport noel asmian arrived in the country yesterday ahead of a two-day inspection of the facility Zimbabwe intend to host uh, to uh, host the I. HF Trophy Zone 6 in April. Asmian will assess the facilities and also give recommendations on the way forward to make sure they are up to scratch by the time the tournament gets underway. The tournament is scheduled to run from the 24th through to the 30th of April. International Sports News Roundup, where the world comes out to play. From sunny Melbourne to the streets of Monaco, the deserts of Bahrain to the jungles of Brazil, get up to speed on the Formula One Report. The Formula One Report is proudly brought to you by Zimoko, the home of F1 brands Mercedes-Benz and Alfa Romeo in Zimbabwe. Zimoko, specialized service for special brands. Now we had Manfred uh, from Zamoko in the studio last week and he let us know that for the month of February we are encouraging our customers to come to Zamoko showroom at Sam Levy's Village for, from 8am to 1pm to test drive some of the models that are on the shop floor and have some complimentary coffee and cross on from Zimbarista. Mm. This week we're talking about all kinds of strength. We're uh, refer- not Barry Menandi's strength. We're referring <laughs> to none. the latest range of Mercedes-Benz SUVs. It's a big world and there are plenty of options out there. So it is good to be versatile with one of our Mercedes-Benz SUVs. Our SUV models range from the all-new GLB to the all-new GLS. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 is an all-new crossover SUV that slots between the subcompact GLA and the larger GLC which we are all familiar with. It is the SUV version of the B-Class. It is the newest model in the SUV range and is a completely new vehicle. The GLB 250 is powered by a turbocharged 2.2-litre four-cylinder engine that produces 221 brake horsepower and features an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The GLB sets itself apart from other SUVs in the Mercedes stable with its upright boxy shape that faintly mimics the larger and pricier G-Class. The proportions and uh, lower ride height make it uh, seem smaller than it is, but in reality, it's uh, closer to size to the GLC. With an unusual uh, available third row of seats, the GLB is one of the most versatile vehicles in any class. The all-new GLB features the latest uh, MBUX technology as featured on the all-new GLE and the widescreen cockpit keeps you fully informed all the time. The first of its kind, it's a real showstopper and it's available to order from our Zimoko showroom. Stay tuned for more. Z. Fittingly, on our Formula One report, we're talking about Mercedes, and they say there's a risk of one of the top teams ending up half a second off the pace in 2021 if they switch over development resource too late this year. The major Formula One rules revamp coming for next year mean teams need to juggle the development of their 2020 cars alongside intensive work on their future challenger. Now, the situation is also further complicated by the arrival of a cost cap in 2021, which will mean there is a limit to 
spending they can make in the future. Against that backdrop, Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff says that how teams tackle the 2020 will be key to deciding the next two world titles. Let's hear from him. As you say, it's an ongoing process and it's a complicated set of contracts, um, trilateral contract between the FA, the commercial rights holder and all the teams and that needs that needs times and the devil lies in the detail. So I wouldn't want to commit here to give you a specific date because there are quite some topics that remain to be agreed on and um, it's working process. Uh, clearly there is the the, the will and the wish um, for all of the stakeholders to come to a close um, uh, before we embark on the 2021 season because that would be an uncomfortable situation. Z. Pause, you got to say that uh, Total Wolf has probably been the best signing for Mercedes and has delivered uh, every time he's been called upon. And now we're hearing him talking about long-term planning, meaning that, albeit that they've won the last six titles, they want more. Yeah, and I think it's it's just like any good football manager, isn't it? That uh, they they look to the future, and uh, he he's already looking ahead, and that that's just what makes Toto Wolff a great signing because he he's a man with a vision. He's a man that wants to take Mercedes further. He wants to break records. He wants to ensure Mercedes dominate Formula One. And uh, yeah, you got you got to certainly give him credit where credit's due. Absolutely. So Toto Wolff planning already for 2021. Z. Right, the new uh, 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS proudly bears the S in its name. It combines the authority of an SUV with the inner values of an S-Class. The GLS combines dynamics and luxury both on the inside and outside in a unique way. Up to seven passengers can enjoy an incomparable amount of space and comfort at the highest level with digital inf- infotainment in, uh, even in the second row of seats. The wow. G- GLS 450 features a 3-litre turbocharged petrol engine with all-wheel drive and a 9G Tronic automatic transmission while the GLS 580 boasts a 4-litre turbocharged petrol engine with all-wheel drive and a 9G Tronic automatic transmission. Now both the GLS 450 and the GLS 580 have all the safety features as well as all the convenience and comfort of an S-Class but with the ability to take on any terrain. With its impressive exterior design, its overwhelming amount of interior space, the highest level of comfort in all seven seats we welcome you to experience 7th Heaven. The GLS 450 and the GLS 580 are available to order from Zimoko. Hopefully that's whet your appetite. And if it has, visit our Zimoko Sam Levy's Village showroom today, well, tomorrow, and create your very own GLB or GLS by choosing every detail of the vehicle to suit your lifestyle and your budget. Don't forget, all our Mercedes-Benz vehicles from Zimoko come with first free service and two years manufacturer's warranty. The Formula One Report is proudly brought to you by Zimoko, the home of F1 brands Mercedes-Benz and Alfa Romeo in Zimbabwe. Zimoko, specialized service for special brands. We are your station of choice, the people's station. ZFM Stereo. Around the world in 60 seconds, international sports news. We touch off in Australia where Australia batsman David Warner says his experiences in England will help him deal with any situation when he returns to South Africa for the first time since the ball tampering scandal. Warner, along with Steve Smith and Cameron Bancroft, served a one-year suspension from international cricket for their part in the scandal that took place at Newlands in 2018. The Aussies are set to play three T20s and three ODIs against the Proteas starting later this month and Warner spoke about how excited he was about returning to South Africa. To New Zealand where Springbok wing Sibun Kors he has returned home from the Sharks Australasian tour due to injury. The Sharks announced that uh, Nkosi, who sat out the 42-20 win over the Highlanders in Dunedin, has a torn right hamstring and had to return home. Marius Lowe has been called up to join the squad ahead of Saturday's clash against the Hurricanes in Wellington. The Sharks will conclude their tour with matches against the Rebels in Melbourne next week and against the Reds in Brisbane the following weekend. To America, where LeBron James is considering a return to the Olympics. LeBron, a two-time gold medalist and three 
three-time Olympian, is among 44 players announced by USA Basketball this morning as finalists for the team that will play in the Tokyo Games. The pool includes 19 players who have won a total of 31 gold medals in either Olympic or World Cup competition for the Americans, including nine players who captured the Olympic title for the USA Basketball in Rio de Janeiro four years ago. That's your Sport in 60. The Daily Sports Trivia Question is brought to you by Pearl and Nutri-Active Instant Porridge. Kickstart your day. Right, let's go to our lines and say good evening to uh, Prof Moringa all the way from Southerton. Uh, good evening, Prof. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Are you a professor or a prophet or just prof? <laughs> <laughs> I know the proof is of evidence. Uh, okay, right. I hope you've been listening to the show. Let's get straight into it. Uh, first question, uh, Prof. Yes. What is the name of the 2019 soccer star who signed for Dynamos recently? Was it A, King Monado? King, King Andolo. Ah, well done. You have been listening. <laughs> right, uh, 50% of the way there. Question number two. Which NBA team does LeBron James play for right now? LA Lakers. Oh, oh well done. he's on point. <laughs> Well done, Prof. Uh, you go into our draw for the uh, Palenta Nutri Active Porridge uh, promotion. Congratulations. Thanks very much, and stay tuned to ZFM Stereo. Okay, thank you very much. The Daily Sports Trivia Question was brought to you by Perlenta Nutri Active Instant Porridge. Kickstart your day. To all you Twitter heads, connect with ZFM Stereo on twitter.com forward slash ZFM Stereo. Forward slash ZFM Stereo. Do you want to grow your business beyond Zimbabwean borders? If yes, then this is what you need to do. Join ZFM Stereo's big show at the ZimTrade Dissemination Seminar on the 13th of February at Mikkel's Hotel in Harare. ZimTrade will be presenting findings on market surveys undertaken in Angola, Malawi and Namibia while the big show broadcasts all of this live. Also, for the first time, buyers from these markets will attend the seminar ready to engage in business-to-business meetings, giving you a chance to land your product and services outside Zimbabwe. There are vast business opportunities not to miss. To register, call Zim Trade on 0242-369-330 up to 5 or 086-77-000374 or send an email with the subject line Dissemination Seminar to info at simtrade.co.zw Big business on the big show. Only on Z. Zim Trade. Energizing Zimbabwe's exports. <laughs> CFM Stereo is untouchable. The big leagues, the big teams, the big players. The beautiful game on CFM Sport. All the rivalry. Here is Harry Kane for Tottenham. Stars. Talk about impudence. Talk about improvisation. Talk about Sadio Mane. And all the game changing moments. And Raheem Sterling rattles at home. And once more, City are in front in a choice. All the updates from the Premier League on ZFM Sport. Let's go to uh, news out of London. One of the London clubs, of course, Arsenal. Unai Emery, he felt Arsenal were on a downward slope for two years prior to his arrival and slammed the attitude of star men during his time with the Gunners. Emery was sacked last November after just 18 months in charge of the Emirates Stadium following the London club's worst winless run since 1992. The former Paris Saint-Germain boss insisted he stopped the rot after replacing Arsene Wenger but believed the attitude of some key men left a lot to be desired. Uh, Emery felt that he would have made Arsenal a force if he was given more time in the role. Former Arsenal player Paul Merson also feels the players' attitudes weren't good enough during Unai Emery's tenure at Arsenal. No, I'm not a great lover of either way. I don't like it when a manager comes into a club and he goes, all the players ain't fit enough. They sh- they're, not, they're, not, they're not fit. That's having a dig at the old manager. I don't like that. And then when another manager comes in, the players start going, oh, it's better here now, it's more fun, <laughs> we, you know. No, 
you know, them, try, them players weren't, they weren't. Mm. You know, I, I believe what Emery was saying. I, I believe what he's saying because mm. they shouldn't be where they are. With the quality of players they have and the results they had, they weren't doing the right things. There's no doubt yeah, about that. Z. Unai Emery and uh, Paul Merson saying that the attitude of the players is what put Arsenal on, or at least slowed the recovery of Arsenal and, and you, you you can sort of see where they're coming from especially with the attitude of Mesut Ozil. Yeah, Barry, you remember when he talked about the Zimbabwe national team coach when he came? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His utterance at first. You know, when you arrive at a club, you want to be in sync with everybody at the club. When that is happening, that's when things kick in. You want to be in good relationship with the players, bring the players together. You want the fans to be on your side. You want the administration to be on your side. When all these four faces of a club are together, they are floating together as one. That is when you see a club succeeding. As long as you arrive at the club and you fail to bring the players together to your side of things, it's going to be a struggle. And sometimes it's it's, a, it's not like being about a good coach. Mm. It's about wisdom. Yeah. You know, when you have wisdom, you see the players that you are influential in the dressing room. Bring them to you. Those are the same. Those are the players those that the ones work you need for to you. Win over. Yes, those, yes, those are your men. They will do the donkey work for you when you are not there in the changing so, room. When they go out clubbing, when they go to the park to chill together. Yeah. Those are the players that make a family for you to 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 succeed. So 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 pause. Emery and Merson say that the players' attitude was wrong. Bunch says, yes, the players' attitude was wrong, but Emery, you didn't do anything to win them over. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I don't I don't think that uh, Emery, right from day one, I just I, for me, he just wasn't the right fit for the club. And I'll go back and say, I always thought the right man that should have gone to Arsenal would have been someone like Carlo Angelotti. Okay. I, I, think, I think he commands that respect in a dressing room look at what he's done at Everton exactly look what he's done at Everton um, I just think Emery is just wasn't accepted and it's sad when, when they lose top players like Aaron Ramsey left Peter Cech left uh, Lauren Koscielny Kish- uh, all left um, there was just I just think from day one there, w- there was there was a bug inside that dressing room that mm. just was never going to be diffused yeah. well apparently that bug has been diffused because Arsenal's Mrs. Ozil and Alexander Lacazette said there is more unity in the squad since the arrival of head coach Mikel Arteta. <laughs> it's all happy days now at Arsenal. Let's hear from those two. You see as a team we are much happier and everyone wants to give everything for this club so especially tactically we improve a lot and I hope in the future we will be more successful. I think we are more together now the the way we think as well on the pitch and outside the pitch. Uh, tactically, we are think better and we're going to see the big improvement in the next few weeks. Z. It's, it's hard to listen to, isn't it? That The fact that players are saying now that, you know, oh, no, we've got unity and, you know, tactically we're a lot better. Because while they're saying that and complimenting Mikel Arteta, there's a slight dig at the pass manager and saying that, you know what, we were shambles tactically and we weren't happy with what we were doing. Yeah, but the first question is, why is there unity now? Why were... Why, because why Arteta's the, brought it about. Exactly. It's not about being a good coach. You need that first. Well, as soon as you arrive at the club, you need to bring unity into the club. And you need to make the players who want to play for you. You know, the players who lift you up. My friend, football is about players. No matter what, even if the yeah. president of the club loves you to beat <laughs> as a coach, <laughs> if, you are, if you are not okay with the players you get fired you will go you you will go so i'm happy and obviously the the dig is also coming from the lack of unity anyway because the unit was not there so they didn't see the tactics they anyway didn't. because probably the tactics were there they were not following them because they were half-hearted about them they didn't believe in yeah. unai emery and it's all coming out now at the arsenal but you've got to say that certainly pause uh, very briefly it looks like it's headed in the right direction at arsenal when you see them play you can see that there is organization the plan there is something that a uh, Mikel Arteta is trying to do with the Arsenal yeah look I think you've, you've, got, you've got to give him a bit of time but uh, I, I think his main objective is to try and hold on to some of his key players I mean there's talk that Lacazette could go Mesut Ozil could go those are the guys that he needs to uh, get on sides with him uh, uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang he needs to get him on side and those are the players the current squad that he's got there now are the players that he needs to build that side around and 
get their trust and get their buy-in, as it were, for for Arsenal to to be successful under Arteta. 100%. And get those players on board is exactly what he's working towards. In other news in England, what's happening? Yeah, former Manchester City player Sean Wright Phillips uh, feels the winter break and Manchester City's postponement match against West Ham could be detrimental for Pep Guardiola's squad. City faced a congested run of games with no date yet scheduled for the home fixture against West Ham, which was postponed on Sunday due to Storm uh, Chiara. The uh, former City midfielder believes the fixture should be rescheduled as soon as possible to avoid a potential loss of momentum. Uh, Bunch, do you agree? City have won three of their last five games but uh, the former winger feels their form looks worse when compared to Liverpool's success. Uh, Guardiola has not played the same starting 11 uh, consecutively this season but Wright Phillips is su- surprised a constant rotation has been raised as an issue. Yeah, no, no one can compare with the Liverpool's form at the moment. Nobody <laughs> in, in the world, in the world, whole world. You, you can't. No team comes close, you know, to that form. So when you do that, uh, we, I think that is negligible. That is a negligible uh, point. But when it, you come to the rotation of the squad, we have talked about it. You can't have momentum. You cannot have a championship winning team when you are rotating your squad every season. This is the writing is on the wall that he can't win it when he is doing that. When he has got a stable squad, Squad. When he had a stable squad, if I should say, he won the league. Yeah, we will do team, know yeah. his team. Yeah. But now we don't know. He needs to make a plan for next season and decide who is he going with. He has to do it and fight for the championship. Right now, uh, the, you can't have you can't have I, consistent I, momentum. I, I, I said I certainly do believe though that uh, the point that uh, Sean Wright Phillips makes about momentum yeah. uh, is a point to note because I. Th- Footballers want to keep playing, especially if they are they are winning and they they feel that they're getting the results that they need. Yes. And even if they're getting the results that they don't want, like for instance, when you're coming off the back of a loss, you'd want a game. If you played on to a Sunday, you want you want a game yes. on a Monday so that you bounce back quickly. If you've won on a Sunday, you want a game on a Monday so that you're able to continue with that momentum. Them not having a game this past weekend, though they had prepared for it uh, against West Ham because of Storm Kiara, I think is certainly going to make them lose momentum. And, and the sooner that the league reschedules that game and says it's going to be played on this date at this time or whatever the case may be, I know they've been offered for them to play this coming weekend and they actually turned that down. Uh, they, they said that they wanted their winter break. So in truth, it's their own fault. Yeah. I believe they should have gone ahead and played I, this I weekend, agree. keep the momentum going because... They, they need that momentum in order for them for it to be transferred into the Champions League. That's their only realistic or at least the big trophy that's still on offer. And if they lose momentum in the Champions League, I fear that um, Manchester City may need a bit of an overhaul. Not to the extent of Caps United and Dynamos, but <laughs> certainly, certainly an overhaul <laughs> at the Citizens. The Nerazzurri. The Black and Blues into Milan. It's Romelu Lukaku and it was never in doubt. He's a beast at the best of times, but this season he has become a monster. The Giallo Rossi, the Yellow and Reds, AS Roma. Belotti has a go. Tremendous hits. That's what he's capable of. La Viola, the purple ones, Fiorentina. Brock Ribery seals a glorious win for Fiorentina with a sumptuous goal at San Siro. The Bianconeri, the black and whites, Juventus. Ronaldo seals yet another three points for Juventus. Tough yet colourful, the best of Italian football on Z. All right, now Juventus uh, are reportedly preparing to pull off the most audacious of managerial coups by persuading Pep Guardiola to leave Manchester City and take the reins at the Allianz Stadium. Uh, the big spending Italians are said to be readying a money no object package to bring Guardiola to Turin and offer the Spaniard his first foray in Serie A. Juve only appointed Maurizio Sarri in, in the summer uh, but already harbour reservations and see Guardiola as the big bigger picture according to reports now apparently club president andre andrea agnelli uh, he sees Guardiola as the missing piece in his puzzle. You can see with the signings that he made. I mean, when he made the signing of Cristiano Ronaldo, you could see what Juventus wanted to do. They wanted to go back to the summit of European football. They haven't been able to do that and now I think he's looking sort of in the right place, which is the dugout. Uh, I think he's got the playing staff to, 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 to get the team to a decent level. 
he just hasn't got the coaching nous to get to the top of European football and now he wants Pep Guardiola um, I think uh, Pep Guardiola has got uh, has got unfinished business at Man City. You know, I, I don't see him leaving um, leaving Man City right now before he tries. Maybe if he wins this one, the Champions League now, he can actually wave goodbye to, to Man City and, yeah. and can take up uh, the Juve job. And I, I think he would love that. You know, I think he would... You, you, to you, leave you, on a high. He would love to live on a high and go to... To a, to a different to a different country and win the league as well. You know he has got another. You see, you know people are ambitious. People are ambitious. He also has a, a record to chase. Yeah. You know he wants to chase uh, uh, Jose Mourinho's record, mm-hmm. winning the league in England, winning the league in in Germany, winning the league in Spain. And he would love to win the league in Spain as well. Yeah. I think that's a good prospect. Uh, that's a good <laughs> prospect for him. But he still has unfinished business at Man City. He was brought in there. We all know that they are ambitious. They won the Champions League. I would love to see him winning the Champions League before he leaves Manchester City. Is, 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 is Jurgen Klopp keeping Pep Guardiola in England? Pause. I would think so. But I also, as Bon says, I think he's got unfinished business to do at Manchester City. Mm. So I think Agnelli better keep looking for his missing piece because uh, it's going to take him a long time <laughs> to find it. Because I, I certainly believe that Guardiola will not leave in the summer to go to Juventus. Mm. Yeah. If he does if he does leave City, I would say maybe another two seasons. Yeah. Um he's got trying, unfinished trying business. The, trying to win that Champions League. Trying to win that Champions League, maybe try and win another um Premier League title. But uh, certainly um as I, I think as much money as Juve want to wave at wave at him, I I believe uh, he's not gonna go there just yet. The league that makes football oh so beautiful where artistry and strokes of genius are the order of any day. Where the game is played with a smile and the little master creates his magic. All the news from the Spanish La Liga on ZFM Sport. Right, just a quick stop in Spain where Zinedine Zidane again reiterated there is no problem between himself and Gareth Bale after recalling the winger for Real Madrid's 4-1 win at Osasuna. Madrid extended their lead at the top of La Liga to six points ahead of Barcelona's trip to Real Betis as they prevailed in a feisty encounter at Al Sada. Horsepower unmatched. Talk to beat the best. Speed unrivaled. Sleek and easy on the eye. Let's get behind the wheel of football engineered to perfection. The Bundesliga, made in Germany. All right, now Emery Chan has insisted his new team, Borussia Dortmund, need to adopt a dirty side to their game if they want to fix their leaky defence. Uh, Dortmund conceded four times against Bayer Leverkusen last Saturday as their Bundesliga title challenge suffered a dent after a late collapse saw them lose 4-3. Chan, who recently joined the German side from the Juventus on an initial loan deal with the view to making it permanent in the summer, enjoyed an impressive league debut, scoring a stunning long-range strike in the loss. You need a bit of that... The dark arts, as they call them, uh, you, you, and, and you need a you need a, a, a naughty but nice side uh, to your football. And Dortmund seem to have the nice side covered, but they need that naughty side, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they're too they they're too nice. I I, mm. I, I wouldn't want to call it no, uh, um, uh, what what the what dark arts. <laughs> the, 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 I, I would the, I wouldn't call it naughty side. Yeah, I would call it the bad side, mm. the rough side. You know, the dirty side. Yeah, you know they need to be dirty. You know they need to kick somebody wrong with my boots. <laughs> Yeah, then you need to do that as a defender. You see, sometimes when you're a defender, look at like Vincent Company. Yeah. What he does, yeah. you hit you, you kick you, you he gets hit it your Achilles. So now, when you're going for the ball, you are very much aware that there is a beast that is uh, that is behind me. So you won't do your things comfortably. Mm. So that's what they need. They are too pretty. They need to get rough a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> Borussia Dortmund needed to get a little bit rough. We. Don't think that we need to be rough. We are smooth all over and we'll be smooth again tomorrow. Uh, Join us then. May God richly bless you. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Manandi, out.